Hello, this is Lisa Shea, and these instructions are for making an origami money butterfly. You can make this out of any denomination of bill you wish, or you can make it out of a piece of paper cut to the size of a bill if you don't want to use actual money. You can use euros or other dollar bill type of money, as long as it's a general rectangular shape. In this example, I'm using $100 bills because this is for a very special wedding present. But of course, if you're just giving a tip to a waitress or something, then you can do it with $1 bills or a much smaller amount. Or if it's just for something pretty, you can use pieces of paper and not use money at all. So you need one pipe cleaner for your creature. Some people feel that pipe cleaners are not appropriate to go with origami, but origami actually can be decorated with many different kinds of things. You can use hooks to make them into ornaments, and you can use all sorts of other things. So you can use pipe cleaners. If you want to go with paper alone, then you can use paper straws. There are many options. You can use a hair band, you can use a rubber band, you can use a twist tie, whatever you wish. So we'll take one pipe cleaner for this example, and two bills. Move the other butterflies out of the way. And we're going to start with the first bill, and this will become the top half of the butterfly. So we fold the bill in half lengthwise and give it a very sharp crease. And we unfold the crease that we just made. And we're going to fold the corner into that center line that we just made. So fold the corner in diagonally so it makes a triangle and give that a sharp crease. Good. Point the next corner into the center line. So again, fold it over into a triangle. It doesn't have to meet exactly at the middle. We're just giving some shape to the corners of the top half of the wing. So again, we fold the corner into the center line on the third side and give that a sharp crease. And the fourth corner we're going to fold into the center line. Now that we've got the four corners folded in, we're going to start the accordion folds, which are going to make the wiggly shape of each of the wings. So you're going to want to fold in the edge of the paper about one quarter of the way. On the dollar bills, it's about where the white band is. If you're using a regular piece of paper, then you have to estimate what a quarter is. And it's not that important that it's exactly a quarter because your aim here is just to make the wings look wiggly and they don't have to look exactly wiggly in a certain way. So fold it in about one quarter towards the folded side. Now we're doing the second side, which is the second quarter back towards the unfolded side. So you can see there's two layers to the fold now. Do a third fold. Most people will be familiar with this kind of activity when they made mustaches or hair bows or bow ties in school. We make these kinds of wiggly shapes out of pieces of paper. And then we fold it over another time. And we're coming up to meet the center line at this point. So there's the center line. And you can see how it's formed a wiggly accordion shape. So now we start on the other side. Again, you do the first fold towards the folded side of the paper. You're doing about a quarter of the width of the area. Fold that down nice and sharp. So you've got one side. Turn it over. And do an accordion fold back towards the center. This is fold number two. There we go. Turn it over and fold it back towards the center again. This is fold number three. turn it over and you can probably guess we're going to go back and do the fourth side to finish up our accordion shape. Now you've got it around that center line. You've got the two sets of accordions on either side of the center line. Now you just give that center line a final crease so that it all fits together in one shape. And this is now the top half of the butterfly. So the left and white, right wings of the butterfly and the top half. So now that we've got the top half done, we need to work on the bottom half. 
The bottom half, if you look at the butterflies, is a little shorter left to right than the top half is. So the first thing we're going to do is fold in the side a little bit to make that bottom half shorter. It doesn't matter exactly how far you fold it in because it's all up to you how much thinner you want that second half to be. So just give it a little edge of a fold so that it's a little shorter. Now we're going to fold this in half lengthwise. Match up the edges and then give it a nice a sharp crease. We unfold it and then we'll do the corner into the center. So we're doing the exact same thing that we did for the first half of the butterfly. Give that a crease. Move the second tip into the center. Give that a sharp crease. The third corner into the center. And give that a crease. And the fourth side into the center. And give that a crease. So now that you've got the four corners creased in, it's time to start for the accordion folding. So this is what the shape looks like before we get started. Now we start about a quarter of the way in towards that center line. We start on the folded side. We flip over to the non-folded side. We flip over to the folded side. So we're doing the same accordion activity that we did the first time around. And we flip over to the non-folded side. So that's half of the butterfly wing done. And we do the other side. We fold in about a quarter and give it a nice crease. Flip over to the non-folded side. Flip over to the folded side. Flip over to the non-folded side. And you've got a nice accordion. I actually played accordion when I was growing up. And now you squish down the center fold so that it forms one full accordion set from top to bottom. So now we have a top wing and we have a bottom wing. If we put them side by side, we have a top and bottom wing, which is the basis of the butterfly. Now we need to connect them. So this is where the pipe cleaner comes in, or if you want to be just a paper person, you can use a paper straw, you can use a twisty, or anything else that you have that comes to mind. So we want to take the bottom and the top and pinch them in the center. And then we're just going to loop the pipe cleaner around that spot to hold it as the butterfly's thorax, I suppose. Give it a little twist to hold it in place. And fluff out the wings a little to give them a shape. Make them as wide or narrow as you want. Then it's time to twirl down the antenna. And you can do the antenna as long or as short as you want. You can do them stretched out wide or squished and thin. You can make them like Dr. Seuss creatures or like modern art creatures. The butterfly is seen in many cultures as a symbol of transformation since it goes from caterpillar to butterfly. So this is a sign for many people of the transformation you go through when you get married, or the transformation you go through when you have your first child, or the transformation of child to adult when you graduate, the transformation of taking on responsibility with your first job. So there's all sorts of reasons to give a butterfly to somebody to celebrate their new growth. So there you go, it's the little butterfly. It can get different colors, different shapes, different sizes. Be sure to visit lisashay.com for many more pages on origami creation and origami decorating ideas. I'm more than happy to help you if you want to email me with any questions. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.